In this video, I will discuss about PLC and log input and output modules. So in process industry, process variables like temperature, pressure, flow, level, etc. are analog in nature. And these analog variables are converted to electrical signals of 4 to 20 mA, 0 to 10 volts, etc. by using the transmitter. Transmitter will transmit this analog signal to the control room. So at the control room, before feeding uh, this uh, analog signal to the CPU of the PLC, it should be converted to a digital signal. So the block diagram of the typical analog uh, current input module will be like uh, shown in the figure. So the current that is coming from the transmitter is converted to a voltage by using a 250 ohm resistor and then it is fed to an um, ADC analog to digital converter. So the common types of analog to digital converters are used in PLCs or uh, sexual approximation type and uh, delta sigma type. And then after digital signal it is opto isolated mm, and it is fed back to a microprocessor or microcontroller uh, and through a backplane interface it is fed to the CPU of the PLC. So in the upcoming video I will discuss about uh, different uh, digital signal uh, uh, galvanic isolation techniques. So a typical opto um, isolation will be as uh, shown in the figure below. So uh, the opto transistor and uh, diode are used uh, for uh, uh, isolation purpose. So uh, this is analog uh, voltage input uh, module. Uh, so and this is of a differential type so differential type is uh, input is preferred over a single ended because of uh, this is less sensitive to noise and uh, ground currents so the signal will be fed to uh, to the adc and through opto isolation it is fed uh, to the microprocessor and then to the cpu of the plc and in a four channel um, analog input module will be as shown in the figure below so the differential signal through filters it is fed to a 4 to 1 multiplexer and then it is fed to an ADC and then to the CPU of the PLC uh, in addition to the analog to digital converter the module analog um, module will also having protection to the um, module and also it will uh, filter uh, the unwanted uh, frequencies from the incoming signal if you see in the figure the signal uh, that is incoming input is uh, converted uh, to an older signal by using a 250 ohm resistor and then it is uh, filtered uh, using a uh, low pass filter 10 kilo ohms and 0.1 microfarad and then it is fed to a um, uh, unity gain op amp uh, which will uh, provide a high input impedance and a low output impedance so and it is also having a production over voltage production by using uh, MOVs and then over current production by using fuses and also reverse polarity production by using the diodes. So different common analog input modules are thermocouple and RTD input modules. So 4 to 20 milliampere are 0 to 20 milliampere inputs, 0 to 10 volts minus 10 to 10 volt DC inputs. So and uh, the typical analog output uh, block diagram um, will be as shown in the figure uh, and similar way uh, the data uh, from the CPU is um, interfaced through backplane to a microprocessor and microcontroller then through opto oh, isolation it is uh, fed to a digital to analog uh, converter and the commonly used uh, DAC is R2 or uh, type uh, DAC and a two channel uh, DS, uh, analog output module as shown in the figure so the signal that is coming from the CPU logic so is fed to uh, through an inter backplane interface to the uh, DAC and then to the field devices. Thank you for watching my video.